moving on, we're joined by driver number 88, Amp Energy Git on the 88, National Guard Chevrolet, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale, I know there's a couple things I uh, want to talk about before we go to the media. First of all, maybe you can tell us a little bit about this new look on the car for this, this week's race. Uh, yes, yeah, just uh, kind of a sequel to the original ride with the 88 uh, program we had last year where uh, the fans went to uh, ampenergy.com and signed up to either hopefully be uh, one of the lucky ones to get on the car and uh, the overflow went to the uh, the uh, banner on the pit road and uh, we had over 100,000 fans sign up this year so uh, we're pretty uh, excited about that. It's a great program for AMP and it's a great way to sort of involve our uh, fan base uh, into what we're doing on the racetrack. It gives them opportunity to feel like they're part of the action and part of the effort to get us here so it's a lot of fun for me and i think the fans enjoy it um they can go to the website and <clears throat> um see exactly where the on the card that their name is so i think that's pretty cool a lot of great technology out there yeah, also we had a announcement come out today about your associate there being full-time crew chief if you want to give an overview of that and lance also for you and then we'll go to the media yeah, well, you're uh, happy to um, announce that uh, Lance is going to be uh, the crew chief for the car um, so he can get rid of the uh, interim tag and we can kind of move forward with planning um, what changes, if any, we might want to make to the team uh, over the off season and prepare ourselves for next year. And it's something I'm really excited about. Lance has done a great job. He's a lot of, he's a really good guy. Um, we have a real good friendship that uh, started many years ago and, and sort of uh, blossomed uh, a lot more once we worked together in the Bush Series at Lowe's. And uh, since we worked together on the car, we've, uh, we've, we've gotten along really great and, and I enjoy, uh, he's built a few new cars for us and every time we take a new car to the track, it's really fast. And, so I see myself, uh, you know, uh, without looking at the statistics and the luck that we've had lately, I can see a lot of improvements in the team, and, and I can see the impact that Lance is making. And so I'm really excited about uh, about this chance uh, for me and him to to understand what our future is and uh, see how we can improve upon that, given the opportunity to work together and know that we're going to work together. So I'm excited about it, and uh, I want to thank. Uh, Rick and, and everybody at Henry Motorsports for working really hard on trying to put together a good program for our team and give ourselves a great opportunity. And uh, they're doing just that by making decisions like this. And uh, we got some great sponsors at Amp Energy and the National Guard that have stood beside us uh, throughout such a tough season. And we're all very uh, positive about our, you know, our outlook going forward. Lance McGrew, you want to give us a quick opener, then we'll go to questions. Well, you know, I think that uh, any time – you know, I've been I've been in this sport professionally for 17 years, so uh, you know, of course, everybody's an overnight success. And uh, when given this kind of opportunity uh, to work with Junior, to have the to work for the best organization, the best races and organization there is, in my opinion, in the world, and there's uh, four crew chiefs to get the opportunity to do that, and I, I I'm lucky enough to be one of them. So uh, we have 550 teammates uh, at Hendrick Motorsports that's uh, you know bleeding sweat to make this 88 team. Uh, run as successfully as it's supposed to be running and and uh, we're headed that direction This is kind of the time of the year where everybody's looking for direction and hoping that uh, You can you can get a lot of momentum at the end of the season and that's kind of what we're trying to do by setting the record down that uh, That I'm gonna be with the team next year and and uh, getting everybody pulling in the same direction Okay, we're gonna go to questions. You have one raise, raise your hand. We'll come around Jim. You're gonna open up Jim Utter, Charlotte Observer uh, for Dale does this kind of, uh, even though you've been working with Lance, now that this is finalized, uh, is this kind of your unofficial start to the 2010 season as far as uh, knowing more concretely now what's going to take place? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I know that, um, <clears throat> you know, Lance has a lot of great ideas and, and he's very smart about uh, um the team and understanding where we can be better and and you know we can start uh, 
uh, facilitating some of them ideas and some of that thought process in, in, uh, within the team. And, and um, like I said, I mean, every time that we've, uh, every time he's built a car, I've loved it uh, when it hits the racetrack. Um, we've been really uh, working closely with our teammates um, and it's specifically uh, with Allen and the five guys. Um, I'm pretty, uh, you know, excited about. I, I really like the relationship that Lance has with everybody in the shop, and and more specifically his um, history with the with the organization as a whole. Um, he's well respected and well trusted, and so it. Uh, I think it's a great move, and it's one that hopefully now that we as a company and as a team know the future, um, we can really bank on that, you know, and depend on it. Uh, Monty Dutton, Gaston Gazette. Dale, I know this is probably something that you are so far past that it's almost meaningless, but it just strikes me you're a pretty open guy who answers questions pretty honestly, even if they're critical. When there's so much scuttlebutt that goes out around you, so many theories, does it bother you that even though you answer all those, so many of the things that are said in various places are basically said without anyone ever asking you? Well, uh, behind the scenes, behind the doors, uh, I do get asked by the right people uh, what my opinion is. And I have a lot of, uh, <clears throat> you know, me and Lance have had uh, some um, many, you know, heart-to-heart -heart conversations about our future, his future, my future, what we should do, what's best for us, the company, all those things. And me and Rick have also sat down many, many times and talked about it. So, you know, it's... Uh, the the right things are are being done and being talked about and being discussed with the right people uh, inside the gate at HMS and uh, you know I'm you know there's uh, I've always a lot of speculation you know outside the the gates and you know that's just uh, that's the way it that's the way the world is and that's the way it works and uh, you know I get I. You know, I do the same thing with my Redskins, wondering how they're going to turn their deal around. But uh, so I can kind of relate to everybody's um, interest in this in the topic. But um, the right things are going on within that organization. I mean, they got three cars sitting there running in, for the championship, and 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 so I trust in every every individual there that they can provide our team with the opportunity. <laughs> You know, to to win, and and I think that Lance putting Lance in this position, first and foremost, was a good opportunity, and it's proven to me that we can. It gives us the the, the ability to run well, and uh, we just have to change our luck, which is um, you know a cheap excuse, but we have to change our you know our opportunities and our and our mentality as a team, uh, build our confidence and our ability to to perform like the others do.